Grandma, can't you be satisfied just behaving? Nope. <laughs> you, you got me. I am always trying something new, trying something different, and especially if it looks good. And I'm telling y'all, this one looks good. I was watching Miss Lori on Whippa Wheel Hollow the other day, and she did this little appetizer that I'm fixing to do for y'all, and it happened to be uh, with natural sweetener. So I said, oh, that's one I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna do it. And so we have bacon right here, and I cut it in thirds. You just take your pack of bacon and you cut it two times, which gives you three. I've got toothpicks, and to save, I'm running low on toothpicks, so I broke them in half. And uh, that is so cheap. That well, is half I'm, a toothpick. I'm running low, so I had to do something. I didn't want to use matchsticks, okay? Okay. <laughs> So, and we have little Smokies here. And this is Carolina Pride. You can use the whatever brand you want to. But, uh, so this is what we're going to do. This is my brown monk fruit right here in this bowl. And I just take my little Smokie and I roll it in my monk fruit, brown monk fruit. Then I take the bacon and I wrap it around the little smoky. I put a toothpick in it and you want to get the sharp end. And then I roll it in my uh, my brown monk fruit again. Okay? And then I just lay it in my dish. Now I'm just doing a small dish today. For Christmas I'm going to do a bigger one. But I want to show y'all how this works and how uh, well, they've got time to make it before Christmas, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I haven't tasted it, but I know it is, it's absolutely going to be delicious. Oh. And so you just take and roll your little smoky. I and bet you, you could. I bet you after you cook these suckers, you could put a little barbecue sauce on them, too. Oh, sure. Whoa. Sure. You can put, uh, like, uh, jelly, it, but I would use sugar first. Yeah. yeah. Like pepper jelly yeah. or something like that, you could, uh, you could coat them. But now I'm taking my toothpick and I'm where my where my bacon, wherever that seam is, it's I'm sticking my toothpick in there to keep the bacon, uh, to keep the bacon from unra unrolling, unwrapping. So we'll see if I can't get four across. And I'm just gonna roll my little smoky in my Monk fruit, brown monk fruit. I'm gonna wrap it with my bacon. Stick my toothpick in the seam and roll it in my brown monk fruit again. This looks so delicious. I was so excited to try this. And they made it look so good when they were tasting of it. They made it look so good. I said, I have got to do that. And also, you can use this uh, as an appetizer. You can use it uh, as, and it, it'll be great Christmas. It'll be great for parties. It'll be great for showers, like football uh, games, wedding showers. Yes, like the Georgia where. Georgia Championship oh, playoff. Yeah, yeah. y'all know we live oh, in Georgia. Oh my, oh my. And so, uh, go do you on. folks know how how hard it is? to hide all of this stuff that she cooks from our children and grandchildren when they come. We have to buy special containers to slide it under the bed, put it in the attic, put some in the barn. <laughs> but they'll go looking for it. They'll even bring their dogs so they can sniff it out. When they come to grandma's, they, <laughs> they come they, to eat. They know they carry a to-go plate home with them. They always, do. They always. do. That's just part of coming to grandma's is carrying a to-go plate full of goodies or whatever, food, whatever, home with you. I told Rose this morning, I said, you know, you would have made some some man a good wife and a good mother and grandmother if she'd have just found the right guy. Thanks, honey. <laughs> and I love that they love taking my goodies and taking my food home. Make, makes my heart warm. I love it. So, uh, and I've got my oven set on 350 degrees. Now, if you want these uh, crisp, real crisp, your bacon, 
really, and it is going to be crisp because I'm going to cook it long enough. But uh, you can, if you've got a dish with a rack that fits in it, you could put these on your on a rack. And the way it, the way I'm doing it here, my bacon naturally has got grease in it, and it's uh, some of the grease is going to be on the bottom. But I'm going to cook it long enough to where, and this is really lean bacon, real lean bacon. I'm going to cook it long enough to where it's going to cook all that grease out. But if you don't want it cooking in some of that grease, you just get you a pan that you have a, a rack that fits on top of it. And you lay this, uh, your little smoky in uh, on that rack. And that'll, that'll prevent it from cooking in the grease. But hey, I like it. So this is the way we're going to do it today. And um, I can't wait till these get done. Now don't forget, put your toothpick at the seam where you are wrapping your bacon. Okay. And let's see, I got four, eight, 12. I think I got enough bacon, I mean enough bacon out for 15 maybe. So that's all I'm gonna do is 15 this morning because I'm just trying to show y'all how, how to do it and how it works. Okay, I got two more pieces of bacon. So that's gonna be 15, 15 little Smokies. You could use a hot wings recipe if you've got a special recipe you use for hot wings too. If that's, if you like those, you could do that on this. Yeah, yeah, you can. I guess you could season it any way you any want Any way you to. want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just, this is just a, An example. An example. Yeah, you can do it any way you want to. And if you want to put barbecue sauce, if you want to put like grape jelly or apricot jelly, uh, but I would not do my jelly until they got done. Uh, but if you want to put barbecue sauce on these, that's, I'm going to cut this, cut this bacon in half because it's long. <laughs> so I'll have 16 pieces. But, uh, so you can season it. You can put, if you want to put, uh, like, seasonings on your, on your, sprinkle seasonings on your bacon, you can do that, ever how you want it. Uh, this is just your basic. I know I'm throwing basic. too many ideas at you, but it, no, you no, could actually not. cut, uh, you could actually cut chicken thigh strips or chicken breast strips the size of these sausage and do it with chicken if they'd rather do it with chicken. Right, yes. Oh, it, listen. I think I've done a video, maybe I haven't, on uh, bacon-wrapped chicken breast. Oh, my word. It is so good. If I haven't done that, I'll have to look back at my video. And if I haven't, I know I've done it with pork chop, but I don't know that I have done it with chicken breast. They are delicious. They are so good. Okay, so any seasoning you want to put on this, anything, any sauce, then... It's just up to you. I've got 16 of these, and I'm fixing to wash my hands. I'm going to put them in the oven, and they're going to have to cook at least about 30 minutes to get this bacon crisp like I want it. So when I take them out of the oven, then I may have a few sauces uh, and show you just how you can, how you can uh, vary this recipe. So I'm going to put these in the oven, on 350 and when they get done then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you different variations of how you can eat mm. these. Mm. Those look great Rose and they're not even done. Oh I know. All right be back. I think Grandmama is taking them out. Okay they cooked 45 minutes. <clears throat> wow. And I want you to look. They oh do my! Look good. The bacon is crisp. Uh, I did pour some of the the uh, bacon grease off about halfway to cooking because I didn't want them sitting in that. So next time, <clears throat> I'll probably put them on a rack and cook them instead of because when I do more, there's going to be a lot more of the bacon grease. So I'm going to put them on a rack next time. 
So they cook 45 minutes and the bacon is crisp. They look absolutely delicious. And now I have got some sauces here that we're gonna try. That one came loose. I didn't have it on good, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> so you can try whatever sauces you want, but this is just what I have today. I've got some pepper jelly. Now, <clears throat> I use monk, golden monk fruit or brown monk fruit. You can use brown sugar. If you, uh, if you don't want to make yours uh, sugar free, then you can use brown sugar. And if you do that, this red pepper jelly is abso would be absolutely delicious on that. But you can also put the red pepper jelly on this uh, because no more than what you're gonna, what I'm fixing to, to brush on it, it, it's not gonna make that much difference anyway. And right here, I've got G Hughes, which is sugar-free, uh, sweet honey wing sauce. We're gonna use that. I'm gonna put a little bit in this little dish right here, not much. I'm just showing you the different variations that you can use. And I've got sugar-free G Hughes. Y'all know me. I, I believe in G Hughes. It is so good. This is original barbecue sauce. So, put a little bit in this dish. And you can use it as, uh, as a dipping sauce. Just pick up one, dip it in this. No double dipping, though. Or... <laughs> You can do it like I'm fixing to do. I'm about to do. All right. The, this line right here, I'm going to use. I'm going to put pepper jelly. I'm just going to take my little brush. And I'm going to brush some pepper jelly on these. Just like that. Okay. And, if, and if you need... No sugar jellies. She's got videos on oh, yeah. how to make your yeah. no sugar jellies and no sugar syrups, too. Or you, you can, can pour, buy them in the grocery store. Or you can buy them in the grocery store. Now, this is our a G. Hughes honey wing sauce. I'm just going to use my same little brush. So, I'm just going to brush some right on, on our little sausage here. But like I say, you can just dip down in if you want to, ever how you want to do it. Okay. And this is the original barbecue sauce. And you can just take your little brush, brush it on. And if you want more heat, there's uh, cayenne pepper sprinkles oh, that yeah. you can just... There's all, this, hey, this is unlimited. The variations to this is unlimited. Whatever you can think of you can do. that you would love, you can do wing sauce. I mean, whatever you think of that you can do, you, it's, I mean, it's unlimited. And I'm going to leave these plain. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to put anything on those. Now, the proof is in the tasting. So, First, I'm going to eat one that doesn't have anything on it. Just look at, honey, look at that. Oh, can you see that? You think that'll be good, honey? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do it in one bite. You mean the whole thing? What hot? Grandmama, mm -hmm. when are you going to learn that hot food will burn your mouth? Y'all. You're not quite old enough yet, I know. Mm-hmm. Is that good? Y'all. I think she likes it. I don't care. But this is sugar free. Mmm. I should got I should have just took half of one. Well, that's what I was thinking too. Leave more for me. <laughs> I'm gonna knife. Now. But that was the sugar free. You would never, ever, ever know that this was not brown sugar. I mean, it tastes exactly like brown sugar. Well, that's great. Now, pepper jelly is my favorite of everything. So, I am going to taste of that one. Oh, my. Mmm. 
that little smoky mixed with that bacon mixed with that little bit of sweet mixed with that little heat from that pepper jelly oh my word mm. that is so good i'm not going to taste of all of them y'all they are so good i'm fixing to take the camera and roy's going to taste now honey this one is pepper jelly this one is the wing sauce that's the barbecue sauce and that's the plain one so i'm gonna let him because he's never eaten this either y'all <laughs> This is so good. She all right. did all this to confuse me, by the way. I'm supposed to remember this. How am I supposed to remember that? He's supposed okay. to remember which one is which. I'm going to try her pepper jelly. Mm-hmm. That little heat on your tongue. Isn't that good? Mm. Now I'll try the wing sauce one. That's the next one. The next one over. Cut it in half. Because it's a, it's a mouthful. And it's hot. It's heat hot well since it's just us I'm not gonna worry about touching it with my fingers is that one good that's got to be good because I love that wing sauce good just a little different mm-hmm mm. yep and the barbecue one yep it's just a little different from that so your variations are unlimited And that's just plain barbecue sauce? Yep, plain, plain mm. G. Hughes barbecue sauce. Yep, original. And that's the plain one with nothing on it. Y'all know we're going to end up eating every one of these. <laughs> Before Christmas. <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm going to make more for Christmas. I can just see a whole order of oh, things my. where you had sections of each with the dip. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. for each one? Yep. Mmm. They're all good. They're delicious. Now, for me and maybe some of us uh, he male men, you know, mm -hmm. uh, probably we we would like a little more sauce on each. Well, sure. But, but that would be... This is just, yeah. Yeah. This is this just This is the first me. time we have done it. Right. Mm -hmm. Honey, this, this is all winners. You cannot tell that all of this isn't real sugar. Oh no, you cannot. The, the mm -mm. flavors mixed it up. And on a lot of stuff you can now. But this one you cannot. Mm -mm. No. No. Because your bacon and your sausage cover up that uh, yep. that uh, that sweetener taste. Yes. So. Okay, so it's a hit, right? Do okay. it. All right, well. Do it. Especially for your special events or when family drops by. Take or that knife off. Uh-oh, I didn't get a picture, baby. I'm going to have to do something for a thumbnail. Okay. All right. Thank y'all for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button. And try these for the holidays because they are delicious, delicious. Remember, food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Love y'all. Have a merry, merry Christmas. And see y'all next time.